If you use a page builder like Divi or Elementor out of the box, you're going to be limited in how bespoke your website is going to be. Now, let me give you an example. Now, I'm building a brand new website called Divi University. This is going to be a one-stop for everything Divi. Courses, child themes, templates, and so on. So what I really want here is a simple layout, which is very, very easy to navigate. So over here, I have my products page. So this is where I'm going to have all my products. So as soon as I release a template or a plugin, I'm just going to add it over here. Now take a look what happens now. If I click here on Colorizer 2, for example, this now is going to take me to this page, which has a unique layout. So here we have this uh, main area here with an image in the background. We also have a description and we also have a buy now button. Here we just have a thumbnail. We also have the features here and a demo video. Now, for those of you who are looking at this, you'll probably be thinking that, well, that's a basic layout. But that's not true. Because if we look now behind the scenes, you're going to notice that now what I'm trying to achieve here is that when I come to any of these products, click on it, it needs to have the same layout as this so that my website is consistent. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like behind the scenes. So I'm going to come back over here to my dashboard. So straight away, I'm going to tell you that if you come over here to DV University products and click on all products, I'm able to go in and add brand new products. So if I click on add new here, I can add a brand new product like SiteCrafter. So look at this. So here is where I'll give my title, SiteCrafter. Here I can also give the child team name because there's a place where I'm going to use this. So I can just add it like that. I can add a subheading. I can add a description here, the price, the benefits. So I have benefit one, two, and three. And these benefits here correlate with the benefits that I have over here. So everything is in a hierarchy order. So if I scroll down here, we have the buy now link. And here we have the link to download. So you're probably thinking, how the hell did I get this uh, area here where I can add my own specific fields in order for me to come up with this layout? Now, for this, I used a plugin called advanced custom fields. Now, let me show you where it is. I'm going to click leave. And now here we are. This is advanced custom fields. So I can come over here to field groups. And there we go. You can see here I have a DV University products. So what I did is I went in here. So let me just click on edit so you can see what I did. I had to create every single uh, place where I can enter my information. So over here, you can see I have the child theme name, I have the product image, the subheading, and this is for my description. I also have uh, the longer description, the price, the benefits, here's benefit one, two, three, the download link, and so on. Now, if I wanted to add something new here, like for example, live demo, I can just click here on add new field. And this is going to be, yeah, some text, that's fine. And I'm gonna call this live demo. In fact, you know what? This needs to be a link. So I'm going to come over here to browse fields. And this is the link I'm going to uh, choose. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then click on select field. Okay, so you can see now I'm starting to build my bespoke elements on my website that are going to show when I present the final website. Okay, so here I have a link and it's called live demo. And pretty much that's all I need to do here. And uh, all I have to do now is to collapse this and I'm going to drag it all the way to the top because that's where it needs to be. So I'm just going to click here and drag it um, right there by the child theme name. Okay, so that's going to be my live demo link. So next I'm going to click on save changes. So you're probably thinking, well, how did I get these fields in such a way that I can go in and enter all my information and also get a design that looks like this. So this is where now we're going into the next phase where we create a template for this page to look how it does using the DV theme builder. All right, so let me show you where to do that. So I'm going to come over here. So first of all, before I do that, I'm going to come to uh, DV University products. I'm going to click on all products and just go to my colorizer, this one here that I added. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on uh, edit. Now notice what happens when I scroll down here, you notice that we have this live demo link. 
So if I click here to select link, this is where I can add my URL. You see that? So this could be a live demo that's already on my website. So let's say the live demo is um, this membership link. Just an example. I'm going to open this in a new tab and then I'm going to say add link. Right, so now I have my live demo. I'm going to hit update. Now, when I go to my template here and refresh, you're not going to see the live demo. Look at that. It's not showing. But now for that to show, this is where you need to go to the theme builder. So I'm going to come back over here like that. Come all the way down to Divi and go to the theme builder. So this is where I created a specific template called Divi University Products. So I'm going to click here. And in a moment, this is going to look familiar because this is the structure of this page that we have right here. So now let's add the demo link. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And let's see what happens if we add a button in here. So I'm going to search for my button module and select it. Right, so now that I have this, I'm going to come over here to link. And notice what happens. I'm going to click now on this little icon here for dynamic content. And when I scroll down here, I need to look for DU products. And you can see it's ACF, Advanced Custom Fields. So this is where Live Demo is. I'm going to select that. Now let's stylize uh, the, uh, the button itself. And also, in fact, we're going to say Live Demo so that when someone comes here, they can actually see that this is a button which is specific to seeing the demo of uh, this uh, child theme. Next, I'm going to come over here to Design then just align this center and also let's customize the button itself because that doesn't look um, very exciting i'm going to go in and activate use custom styles set this to 1 em this doesn't have to be that big and then uh, what i'll probably do is for the sake of this tutorial let's make it white and uh, pretty much i think i'm happy with that okay now let's save this and then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it below the price, just like that. Okay, so now we have our live demo added. So if I save this now, I want you to see what happens here. This is going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to close out of here and save all changes. Right, so now when I refresh this page, now that I've saved my template... So now you notice that we have our live demo. So this is the link now that's going to take me to um, the, the demo of the site. But the question now is, how do we enter all this content so that our site is consistent? Well, this is where when we add our products, in fact, let me come back over here to a DU products. I'm going to click on all products. So when you say add new, you're going to notice something very exciting here. So I'm going to say add new. And let's give this a name. In fact, let's restore backup. Okay, so we have the site crafter. So the theme name will go here. Now notice we have our live demo link. So every time I come here, I can add a specific link uh, that goes to that uh, particular demo that I want to show for that child theme. So this is what makes it unique. So all I have to do, or uh, let's say someone on my team is working on my site, they just have to come here and add products. So let's say someone's specific job is to add products to the website. Just tell them, listen, go uh, go to uh, DU products. Now add the, the name, uh, the child team name, the demo link, right? And this is the, the product image. That will be a thumbnail, uh, the subheading, the description, the price, the benefit one, two, and three. And once they have done that and they hit publish, they are going to have a layout that looks exactly like this, but of course with different images. And these buttons here will be directing to the specific button that you will have uh, added in uh, the um, DU products page. So as you can see, this is very, very powerful and bespoke to this website. And the way of adding the data onto the website is also unique and really, really cool. This is what's going to make you an advanced web designer because you are going to uh, come across many, many people who want specific things on their website. Like in this case, I wanted a page that had all my products, just like here. And then when you click on it, I wanted a specific layout that looks like this. I hope I've explained this well. If you have any questions or any comments about uh, building bespoke websites, please let me know in the comments box below. And also on Div University, 
I'm going to be creating a lot of advanced courses because I noticed that all the courses that I've uh, created in the past are just pretty much your standard way of building websites. But I want to, you know, teach you how to design websites that are more bespoke, which have extra functionality. So that's the goal now for Divi University. And also in upcoming uh, courses or upcoming releases for Divi are released, they will all be updated on Divi University. Now, I know I get this question all the time. What's going to happen to lifetime members to funnels to income? You will get 100% full access to Divi University. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.